Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascendant Masters, Cosmic Guides of the highest and purest white light, only with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my wonderful, fabulous, and um amazing starseer family the best and most accurate information for them at this time okay hey my beautiful starseers i'm so excited to be back okay i've been just just having it all in here for y'all no seriously though spirit told me to take a break okay and it was a well-needed break okay um i really did need that so this is an archangel michael message okay so I'm not going to use the book today because I usually don't on my first day back from a break like that. Um, but I did get some notes yesterday. So I got the number th 3113, okay, which is a mirror number, okay? So your reality could be mirroring you at this time, okay, like in the best way, you know? Um, it says allowing your intuition to be at the center of your mastery. Okay. Also, cause you know, it got the 11 in between this, this number 33, which is all about, you know, this mastery, this, um, connection to a higher version of yourself, you know, and you just really do have this thing going on for you, baby. Okay. It says, realize you were born a master and have all the steps to achieve higher and higher levels of ascension within. Okay. So that's what Archangel Michael really wants you to focus on, you know, realizing that you were made and born and built for transcendence and ascension, okay? And you are constantly on the rise, always rising up and stepping into a higher version of yourself, whether you feel like that beautiful high version of yourself or not, you know? So um, when I Googled it, it was talking about, um, it says there is positivity possible for your life, you know? So I hope that you're really focusing on the positive, you know, that's what spirit really had me doing, you know, just chilling. Like I really, I really was just chilling, you know, they got me, um, eased me back into like going out and working and just having, you know, enjoying my regular self. Okay. And, and I needed it. Okay. So, um, make sure that you're putting as much positivity in your life as possible, you know, spending time with yourself, having a good time, okay? It says focus on healing and self-care right now, okay? Um, as much as possible is what I wrote. And it says personal growth, fresh starts, and aligning with your true purpose, you know? So I feel like you are aligned or about to be, look at why is aligned with purpose at the bottom of the deck, okay? Let's go. So it says no wrong path and crossroads, you know, you might find yourself in like certain personal crossroads at this time, you know, where you just really don't know how you want to move with things. And, you know, Archangel Michael saying like, really just trust yourself, trust your intuition. Everything that you need to know is going on within you. Okay. And so if you need to take a moment, if you need to, you know, step away from the nonsense, from the bullshit for a second, it's perfectly fine and you don't owe anyone any explanations about why you need to take a break or why you want to take a step back or why you being you know keeping to yourself it's your business okay just handle your business and um i think that one of the top priorities in your business is to properly care for yourself is what archangel michael's saying you know okay so when i went to the smoke shop yesterday um when i came out there was two dudes right and um, there was a Mexican dude on a bike and a black dude um, standing next to the bike, you know, and I overheard him say, like, you know, uh, my homie told me to come talk to you about this bike. You know, I think this is my bike, you know, like not even tripping, you know, like just give me my bike back <laughs> and we go, we can call it even, you know, you walk on from here and I'll ride my bike back home, you know. But of course it went left, right? So, but before it went left, okay, um, this really stood out to me, okay? The Mexican dude said, the Mexican dude said, what's up? You want to get down or something? And the black dude was like, what? <laughs> I'm undefeated. You can't whoop me, <laughs> right? And so I think that that is like the whole point of this, you know, you might have people wanting to step to you, you know, wanting to get down, you know, trying to, um, 
you know, take your bike, try to take your transportation, try to take your route to where you're meant to go, you know, but they can't, they, they can't do it. You know, nobody can whoop you, baby. You're undefeated and you're going to remain undefeated, you know? And also with that, there's this energy of like, is it worth it? You know, <laughs> because that's all I was thinking about when I was watching this thing go down, you know, like, baby, like you're going to go to jail because, because, okay, look, so I got to tell you the whole story. <laughs> look, so after that little moment, you know, where he like, boy, I'm undefeated. You can't whoop me. The, the dude's like, nah, this is my bike. You know, he like, baby, watch my bike. Cause he had a lady with him, the Mexican dude. He like, watch my bike. You know, this ain't your bike, bruh. Like just move on, you know? <laughs> so he starts to walk in the store and the black dude was like, move bitch. <laughs> it was crazy. Okay. The black dude was like, move bitch. Give me this bike. And, and he took the bag that was on the handle. He said, here, you can have that. You bought that. You know, like this bike is mine pretty much. Right. So he's about to like walk away from the bike and the Mexican dude comes and snatches the bike and jumps on the bike and starts riding away on the bike, you know, and he pull out this, this big ass machete. Cause before he jumped on the bike, you know, the Mexican dude was reaching, like he had something, but he didn't have nothing. But the black dude had a big ass, like, I mean, like a big ass, like Rambo knife. It was crazy. Right. And it had the cover, the case on it and everything. And the thing looked like it was sharp, you know. And he was like, just give me the bike, you know. Like, that's all I really want. And when the dude jumped on the bike, he slapped him on the back with the cover of the knife, okay. And the dude fell to the ground. And it was just a mess. And then he started, like, swinging the machete like he was trying to cut something. And I wasn't trying to see nothing get cut. So I just left. Spirit was like, get the fuck out of here, okay. <laughs> so I got out of there. And then... um. Oh, when I was almost to the freeway, I seen the police, you know, and I said, see, that's what I was saying, you know, like, is it, is it even worth it? Like, is it even worth it for you to be doing all of this? You got a machete and all kinds of shit. You know, you might need that bike. You know, that bike could have been his only transportation. That bike could have been everything to him, you know, something that really helped him get back and forth, something that helped him survive, something that helped him to do his job or whatever it is. We don't know why the man was so upset and why he wanted his bike back. But at the end of the day, sometimes you have to ask yourself, is this thing that I'm fighting for so hard, you know, is that something that I really need? Or is this something that can be easily replaced by God, you know? And so that's like really the whole point with that altercation, you know, like if first of all, choose your battles because <laughs> you don't have time to be arguing with or going back and forth with anyone about anything. And it's really hard to stay in a positive vibe if you're letting people take you to a negative place, you know, but at the same time, I get it, you know, because it's like, even if, if that was his bike, you know, it's like you stole this, you know, and now you riding it around in my neighborhood, in my fucking face and acting like you didn't steal it. How can I not be mad? How can I not press you for that thing? and demand my shit that I paid for that I need in my life back, you know? And so Archangel Michael is just saying with this, you know, make sure that you're choosing your battles wisely and that also you're not putting up this big ass fight and wasting all of this energy and risking your own life and your own situation over something that can easily be replaced by God, you know? There's an energy of like, stay aware, you know, stay aligned with your purpose and really focus on what's important, you know, because I feel like, you know, there was a huge chance that that dude could have got arrested. You know, he got that big ass weapon. You know, the other dude didn't have no weapon and there is no proof that that was his bike, you know, <laughs> so, you know, like don't put yourself in a place where you look like you're the bad one or you're the scary one or you're the shitty one, you know, like protect yourself in that way because people would love to make you look like you're crazy or you having some sort of problem, you know, you look at the Lumerian C codes, it says embrace sensitivity, you know, it says embracing sensitivity, uniqueness and living with grace, okay. So if that man would have activated his grace and took a calm stance, took a peaceful approach and just walked away, there's no telling what way God would have blessed him or what what th what new thing he could have ran into. But because he was so worried and so concerned, you know, like he's not ever going to see another bike. He put his life at risk in that. 
And so Archangel Michael saying like, just embrace the sensitive nature of yourself, you know, remain grounded, stay connected to the earth, realize that everything that you need is here, you know, be in a very unconditionally loving type of energy right now, because that's going to really help you to stay in that energy that you need to be in, that you want to be in to go forward. You know, what's the rest of the overall energy? flights of fancy okay it says in harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban hermione is giving a special magical artifact which allows her to go back in time so she can take multiple classes within the same hour time turners are highly restricted artifacts with good reason manipulating time can have terrible consequences harry and hermione un ultimately use it with Professor Dumbledore's blessing to rescue both Buckbeak and Sirius Black and help them escape Hogwarts. It says, if you could use a time turner to go back and observe one day or moment, okay, like that nigga moment I observed yesterday. It says, if you could go back and observe one day or moment in time, what would it be? And why is that particular day or time valuable to you? You know, and there's also this energy of like, is there some sort of situation like that that you could be holding on to? You know, something that gets you all, you know, mumbly and grumbly, like try to heal those sort of things, you know, forgive those things. Because you are a time turner, but you don't have time to be turning time backwards. You want to be propelling yourself forward, getting to the best possible timeline that serves you, you know. It says, words are, in my not so humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic, capable of both inflicting injury and remedying, remedying it, you know. So... Um, some energy of, of how you're using your words at this time. I'm looking at this special magical artifact, you know, like you are this special magical artifact, you know, because Hermione, she needed that necklace because it was a necklace, you know, it was it was pretty dope, too. <laughs> but you don't need that kind of thing. You know, you are that. And she was like turning it and um, like she would tinker with it a little bit, turn it and set it to the right time or whatever. And then it would take her back, you know, or she could see like all of a sudden she could see like people walking backwards and things like that, you know. But you are the same. You're like that, that beautiful time artifact, you know, and even in the ways where you're able to like go back in time, you're able to imagine these moments where you've had a difficult time or you've had a difficult life and you want to change something about that you have the ability to go back to like literally visualize your timeline and put yourself in that time and give yourself love you didn't get you didn't get in that moment you know and give yourself healing and this really does affect you today in this life in this specific timeline that you're in we got the throat chakra, okay? And we got Archangel Michael showing up, okay? <laughs> so the throat chakra says, I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. And um, Archangel Michael says, I am grateful for the strength and courage Archangel Michael brings to my life, you know? Just this energy of like, you always speaking your truth, but speaking it from a very graceful and sensitive type of energy, you know? Like, you don't need to bully with with your voice or with your, you know, like, you don't need to, I don't want to say bully, because I know you ain't a bully, baby. You're a star seer, you know, but look at release at the bottom of the deck. This is what he's talking about, you know, releasing old things so that your delivery can be a lot more smoother, a lot more softer, and people will understand you and hear you more. You know, you know how when people are yelling and you just like... <laughs> totally dismiss everything they just fucking said because they're yelling and who are they talking to you know what i'm saying but when somebody's whispering you're like huh what <laughs> you're trying to hear you're trying to hear clearly what this person who's whispering is saying more than you would try to hear a person who's yelling you know so something about that energy you embracing that kind of thing you know changing the way that you're dealing with people or changing the way that you're reacting to certain things because you could definitely be running into things where people are trying to like someone's trying to like ruffle your feathers you know but they can't do nothing unless you entertain it unless you get upset with them come on baby that's the only way it works 
and make sure that you're getting a lot of rest at this time also and that you just focus on what it is that you're trying to create focus on the the abundance that you're trying to attract because change is already here you just need to embrace a bit more of that change you know and it's like if you know that everything around you is changing and if you know that all of these situations are changing and I said in the beginning, your reality is starting to mirror what's going on within you, you know, so if you know that all of these things have changed within you, you need to see that change out into the world. Like you're not going to you're not going to experience the change until you see that change for yourself. If that makes any sense, you know, yes, it's going on inside of you and you're experiencing it that way. But Archangel Michael saying there is a lot more, there is a way to express your power and express yourself that is a lot more easier where you are depending on God and on the angels to take more care of you, you know, to be the strength that it, that you need in that situation, to know that you don't have to do a damn thing. You don't have to lift a finger because you know that, that they're going to get what it is that's coming to them, period. And that's where you're really, where the real strength is at, you know. I think that you are a lot more strong than you give yourself credit for, you know. Yeah, we got um, Canis Major with exhilaration. Like, now is the time for you to be, it's almost like he's saying he wants you to get really excited, you know. And also realize that all of your loyalty is being repaid you know because this dog gives me that loyal friendly type of energy you know i feel like you've been very loyal to the divine you know and you are a very friendly energy you know and i'm here and i ain't a killer but don't push me though so <laughs> um i think that like i said people are trying to ruffle your feathers you know trying to push you a little bit but in that passive aggressive you know um, let me um, throw all of this nice on top of this underlying bullshit and hope that you just eat it, you know, <laughs> but you don't have to eat it, you know, and also you don't even have to address it. Know that it's being handled. Know that the minute that they set that intention to do some rude shit to you or to do something underhanded to you that they got, they karma, they karma came. <laughs> okay. People are getting instant karma for messing with you. And it's very important that you just follow your own guidance because you are shining so bright right now it says bright star <laughs> period okay you are shining like a beautiful bright star we got taurus okay which is giving me that energy of like money like of abundance you know because they're earth signs okay very connected to the earth and grounding things you know grounding material wantings and things like that you know and there's also like this black bull which is giving me i don't know the energy of luck for some reason <laughs> what else like you're just very lucky you know and it's because you're so true to your vows that you have made with the divine you know so just like be very careful don't let anybody come in and knock you off of your square or knock you off of what it is that you're trying to do you know because there's still a lot of people out here that thinks that the way that that you choose to live your life looks crazy. You know, they don't understand the awe, the ecstasy of like constantly staying connected to the divine and putting God in everything. They have no idea like how much better it is than the shadow energies that they might try to, you know, work with or that they might try to improve, put into their life to improve it in some sort of way. Nothing ever improves your life, like including God in everything that you do, you know. And I think that you're just very aware of this right now. And this is where Archangel Michael is just asking you to stay and even asking you to just be a little bit more gentler. Call out for that help a little bit more, you know. Ask God <laughs> to send Archangel Michael to do things, you know. Like, it's great to call out to Archangel Michael, but... When you ask God to do it, like there's something more powerful about it because he's saying something about like the angels go straight to God, <laughs> you know, like they talk to God. They don't they don't like ask each other to do things. <laughs> OK, they ask God and God assigns other angels and things to even help them with things that they have going on. And just know that it is a part of your destiny for you to talk directly to God, you know. That's going to be very important. 
especially when it comes to being the hero of your own story. And also patience is very important to your journey also, you know. So just be really patient with yourself while you're going through these through this growth, okay, you're expanding, you're expanding bigger and bigger and bigger. And also the signal that you're putting off the electromagnetic energy that's coming off of you in waves is a very powerful thing. And don't think that these people that's trying to play you or trying to like come into your energy and start little nonsense don't know that, okay? They can feel, I can feel your energy from two planets away, okay? I got my drink and I got my cup. I'm going to share it. But today I'm yelling, bitch, don't kill my vibe, okay? People want to <laughs> kill your vibe, okay? Just like you can feel their negative energy from far away, they can feel your very positive energy, you know. So Archangel Michael saying, just really trust yourself, you know. And when you get these feelings like it's okay to be your own hero, rescue yourself by stepping away from any energy that isn't serving you right now. What is that? Oh, baby, give me one more chance to show you that I love you. Okay, so we got the five of wands <laughs> going under exhilaration, you know. This is what it is, you know. This could be the energy that's coming in here, you know. Somebody wants another chance. And they feel like if they come in and cause a little conflict, you know, make you want it, make you work for it, that you're that same person and you're going to want it and you're going to work for it. And, you know, the spirit's like, no, mm-mm. No, like in what world do you owe anybody any kind of effort toward you proving that you like need them or something? You don't have anything to prove, babes. And you don't really don't want to be involved with someone who's going to make you work that hard. You know what I'm saying? What's um, guidance? The wheel of fortune. Exactly. Because it's like. I feel like you've dealt with a lot of people in the past, you know, where you had to deal with a lot of conflict, had to have like, you know, stupid, petty arguments about nothing, you know, that really could have been resolved with a quick conversation and, you know, a quick matching of facts and, and, and things could have been killed, you know. And I think that this is how you look at life. You're very emotionally mature and you're willing to have the conversation. And I think that like people are trying to bait you into a conversation just to start conflict and ruin this exhilaration, this like, you know, amped up happy energy that you're in. So you're just going to have to like keep yourself centered and don't give anybody the power that it takes to like, like don't give them the power to turn your will, turn the will out of your favor. Cause I feel like you've done a whole lot of hard work to get to this place. Okay. What's this? The creator, okay? Excuse me. The six of cups and the seven of wands. <laughs> Going under this Taurus, under this sisterhood, you know. This could even be, you know, some sisters. Or this could be, like, some family members or whatever, you know. Or just close friends or whatever. But there's definitely this energy, you know, with the creator, the creator and the six of cups, you know. This is definitely giving me this energy of like you creating this new energy for you to be in. You standing your ground and saying, no, I want to be better. I want to have more. I want to whatever it is that you want to do, you know, and having people in the past try to create conflict with you because they didn't agree with that. You know, they wanted you to stay right where you were, right where they had you, you know, right under their little thumb. What's vows? Okay, the star. <laughs> period like I said but you have made these vows with God and it's like there's nobody that can break them and I think you know you could be a lot like me and people could be you know still waiting for you to quit you know because I um was looking for my purpose but I really wasn't aware that that's what I was doing you know and so I know how to do a whole bunch of different things you know like I didn't done it all okay I worked in warehouses security all kinds of things I have all of these different skills but you know I'm sure to people on the outside of me it looks like oh I just do this for a while this is the thing I want to do and then I just quit that thing but it's like once 
I would figure out that something wasn't my purpose or that I wasn't meant to do that forever. I still hold those skills, but I would just drop it like it's like a hot potato because now my soul knows, my higher self knows that I'm wasting my time here in this thing, that this thing is not going to go anywhere. And I would just literally just lose all interest and just move on, you know. And I feel like you could definitely be that same way. You could be walking in your purpose now. And a lot of people could be looking at you waiting for that other shoe to drop, you know, waiting for you to be like, oh, I hate this. You know, I'm this isn't for me. I'm not going to do this anymore. You know, and I don't feel like that moment is coming. I feel like right now where you are, the way you're including God in your life and the way that you're handling your business is right dead on with your destiny, with your divine purpose. It's bringing in so much beautiful awe and happiness and ecstasy to you. And you need to keep on going, <laughs> okay? Because you're looking like the star and you have done an excellent job of standing your ground. And I know that that wasn't easy, babes. I'm really just getting like this energy, like it was so hard on you. Like it's 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 really more of like a tingle of relief, you know, like this, like how it looks like she's got all of these little, you know, divine sparkles just like hitting her skin at this time. Like I feel like that for you. Like I feel like such great energy is being like sprinkled down on you, you know, what's awe and ecstasy. We got the Knight of Cups. Exactly. I feel like there is this amazing, deep, special love being like dropped on you, okay, with the two of cups, like you're in such a balanced place, you know, and maybe the conflict, like maybe Archangel Michael is saying that, you know, when it comes to like having relationships with certain people and things like that, you know, like just be careful what they have in that cup that they're offering you, you know. Like, just make sure they're not trying to cause any conflict. Because I know a lot, I say, you know, like, don't go backwards. Don't deal with old people or whatever, you know. But sometimes I entertain old people. Like, I talk to them. I hear them out, you know. I might hang out with them. <laughs> because sometimes God have me go sit down with these people to figure out where are they at? Where is their mind at? What is it that I need to bring to this situation? You know, and sometimes I go in and I give them whatever I needed to bring to the situation and I still don't understand, but it's not for me to understand. <laughs> it's just a part of my destiny and a part of the energy that I'm meant to give out to these certain people, you know. Energy exchange is a very important thing and you never know how God is using you. And if you get upset in certain moments in certain situations, then you you don't really get to the bottom of how God's using you either, you know? So it becomes more of a difficult thing when you could have just been going with the flow. What's a destiny? The magician. Exactly. <laughs> like, you're such a beautiful, magical type of energy, you know? Like, yes, you do your destiny. You do your purpose. You do the things that you need to do. I'm just trying to figure out what is that hum in the background. Okay, <laughs> You do the things that you need to do, but there's also this uh, these other things that you're really not aware that you're doing, okay? That you do on a large scale and you do it from a very, very powerful place. And that is like even more a part of your destiny. But this magic that you put off, it comes from you being very happy, from you avoiding conflicts and from you being able to speak your truth and knowing that you're protected. So this is what Archangel Michael is getting at, you know? Yes, you have your destiny, your purpose, and all of these things that you do where you co-create, where you actually have to take those actions to do those things. But you have to also realize that there's like this whole other world where Everything is out of your control and it's all God doing everything and you have to make room in your life for God to do the things that he's doing. Because he's going to do it regardless. It's up to you if you see it and, and get that, have that movement forward or not, you know. And then we got the page of crystals, you know, which gives me that energy of like so much potential going on with you. Like you are amazing. But in order for you to move forward and to get the best, like, results from that potential of yours that you're putting into everything, you know, you need to be very patient with the divine. And that means being very patient with other people sometimes also, because just like you don't know what energy 
you're meant to bring into the situation sometimes. Sometimes people are there and they got a they got energy to bring to that situation too, even if the energy is a negative one. It, everything is for a reason, you know, for a purpose. So try not to get so upset when you are dealing with these certain things or when these things just happen, you know, like start looking at everything like it's supposed to be happening. OK, and this will make things a lot more easier for you to understand, you know, and it'll put it's like it brings this clarity, you know, like nothing beats a higher perspective is what Archangel Michael is saying, you know. And the calmer you are and the more you're aware of your magic and the, the energy that you're capable of putting out, the easier it really is for you, you know. What's um, exhilaration in the five of wands? Dance the rainbow. It says, I love to have beauty in my life, you know, period. Like choosing this beautiful rainbow dance with life over this terrible conflict, that's what's going to bring you this exhilarated and happy type of feeling that you're looking for on a regular basis. You know, that is an energy that you have to create in your own life. What's guidance and uh, the will of fortune? The magic circle, okay? It says magic starts with me. And I think that you're very aware of this and you just need to continue to be aware of that, you know, and also, you know, your guidance starts right deep down inside of you and you've already done the hard part, you know, at this point, if you're running into any conflict, okay, it's a teachable moment. <laughs> and that is what, I, you know, I got from the whole conflict. I got a whole like multiple lessons out of that thing. And I think that you need to be looking for the lessons in certain situations, you know, even if they're not happening with you, like if you're witnessing that, if you're seeing that, then you're seeing it for a good reason. And you just need to like, look for what is it that God's trying to show you, you know, what's our sisterhood, the seven of wands creator and the six of cups. Um, happy magic for pets. Um, and it says, animals are my friends. I am kind and loving to them, okay? Which is giving me kind of an energy of, of Archangel Michael being funny, you know? Because this is like right where I was talking about, you know, these people from the past and you creating a better energy, you know? So what he's saying is, even if you're looking at these people, you know, like they're animals or they're savage or they don't care or whatever, you know, however you're looking at them, always remain kind and loving to them. Try not to look at them like that, you know, try to see the light in them. Try to see the things about them that you love, you know? And I think that when you're looking at people that way, you're standing your ground in a better way because you're you're using like grace and peace, okay? I didn't told y'all, you're fighting like the Care Bears, okay? <laughs> you, you're like rainbows, love, you know? And that really does kill off the lower vibrational energies, you know? What's vows and um, the star? Create a spiral. It says, I am flowing with the seasons. And that's what it is. It's like, in that vow that you made to God, you know, in this in this agreement that you have with him, you know, to follow your destiny and follow your path and go where it is that he wants you to, to go. Like understanding that you also make an agreement to flow with the seasons, to go with the flow, to deal with whatever pops up on the journey and to do it with a smile and with grace. And if you don't understand or you can't smile at that time that you're calling out to God, like God, you know, and even calling out to God, of course, when you when you're not smile, I mean, when you are smiling. But realizing that you agree to go with the flow, you agree to just, you know, to make this upward spiral. And that at a soul level, you know, it ain't meant to be easy, but you got this. It says, I freeze what I no longer want at the bottom of the deck, you know. So put some ice to the nonsense, you know, to the drama, to the bullshit, to anything that pops up that, you know, lies to you and tells you that, you know, you have to deal with some conflict or whatever. Like you don't. You can just offer love to every situation. And if your love is not good enough there, okay, <laughs> Will somebody tell me, I don't need your prayers. <laughs> well, then don't take them then. That's fine. You don't got to have my prayers. But that's what I got for you.
because I got a life too. <laughs> the fuck, okay? And and you see how that that's irritated? Like that's so upsetting. Like how dare you? Like that's so insulting to tell somebody that prays for you and really gives a shit about what goes on with you that you don't you don't need their prayers. And I feel like you can be dealing with these kinds of people, you know, people who are totally inconsiderate, who looking at you like you don't got better stuff to worry about <laughs> and feeling like you owe them some sort of love out of your energy. But you don't. And you can love them from afar. It's, it's not that you don't owe them any love, because I feel like we, we do, though. We owe the entire collective our love, our care, our grace, you know. But you don't have to bend to anybody's will and love them the way that they feel like you should be loving them. Because your love is unconditional. <laughs> so if they're not accepting of your unconditional love, that's the problem in their loss. What's um, all ecstasy, the two of cups and the knight of cups? Yeah, be an animal, okay? It says, I share my world with animals which have all kinds of strengths. And it's like on that note, you know, animals <laughs> don't go around, you know, telling other animals what to do or how to be. They just be and they just mind their business. And that and it's like they receive so much love just for being themselves in their own natural habitat. You know, people go from far and wide to like make documentaries about lions and how beautiful they and majestic they are. And, you know, even love the way that a lion could attack a zebra or whatever, you know, like they love every single part of the animal because the animal is just itself, you know. And it's even like, you know, don't blame the tiger. Blame the person who walked into the tiger's den, right? <laughs> okay. So in that way, you need to be like the animals, you know, and just accept that sometimes that's just people's nature and you don't have to be there. And just know if you go into their den that you are subject to being treated like how they treat people in their den. And know that that's a choice, though. What's a uh, destiny? Okay. And the magician, we got Aqualuna. It says, I am grateful and blessed. Okay. So right now, the strongest magic that you have going for yourself is knowing you're great is being grateful and knowing you're blessed and knowing that you have all the tools and you ain't got nothing to worry about. Like you're so good. <laughs> you're so straight and you're so protected. And just don't let other people who don't feel that protection or don't know their destiny or who are exactly where they want to be at this time, like pull you down because you know who you are and what you should be doing here. What's um, patience, the chariot and the page of crystals? Magic eggs, okay? Beginning something is exciting, okay? And we got the shield of crystals. I am loved and protected, okay? Come on. So know that whatever it is that you have began, you know, this exciting new beginning that you have stepped into, you know, like, know that it's amazing and that it's okay to be excited about it and that you don't have to allow other people to come in and ruin that thing, you know. You're like this beautiful time capsule. You might feel like you have started things off late, you know. Excuse me, and that could make you lose a little bit of confidence or whatever. But just know that no, you didn't. You didn't start off late. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing, exactly when you need to be doing it. Okay, you're like this. <laughs> you're like okay, because if you think about a time capsule, okay, they're showing me like a school time capsule. You know, where all the friends or the, the students and the teacher and the principal. Sometimes the whole school gets together. They put these little beautiful keepsakes and all of these little notes or whatever you know and they bury it they bury that capsule in 20 years 100 years later or whatever whenever they plan to dig it up they dig it up and they, they get so much joy and so much happiness from what is held within that capsule you know it's like a piece of time what also goes into the box you know and so you just need to realize that they're showing me now like angels <laughs> 
know what I mean? Like angels standing around a person putting all of these beautiful qualities, all of these different, you know, like beams of light, all of these light codes, placing all of this beauty within you and then burying you until the perfect time where it's time for you to come out and shine and give out all of this beauty that you have. Like this is what you were always destined to do. So just don't let anybody like, like I said, start any conflict or anything at this time. You don't have time for that. And that's why I love um, how he closed off with the time capsule pretty much, you know, because I started with that time turners and have you, how, you know, she could go back and fix anything that she wanted to fix. You can too. You are like time is one of the things. <laughs> I don't know how to explain what he's saying to me at this time, like, but just know that you have much more control over your timeline than you think that you have. And you might not be able to like control every little thing that's coming, but there is a lot of things in the past that can always be fixed, can always be healed with your own beautiful magic that you do, baby. But I think you're doing great. Like, <laughs> I hope you're not freaking out thinking you're doing wrong because you're doing good. OK, look, we got great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. Come on. It's too good. It's just too good. So it says, know that what is happening around you is divinely inspired. OK, learn from your current experiences and then share them with others. OK, it says this card was inspired by Yeshua, who is one of the most widely acknowledged and loved spiritual teachers of all time. But there is a great teacher in every tradition. And this card represents the one to whom you feel closest, as well as the great teacher within. The teacher wears simple clothes here to demonstrate that even if you live a simple life, it can be an incredibly spiritual one. He is surrounded by a sense of serenity and harmony because he has absolute trust in the higher power that moves through him. And the dove on the card represents receiving answers to prayers through signs and experiencing peace through joy. OK, it says this card can represent a teacher in your life or the great teacher within you. Either way, it shows that you have dedicated a lot of time, effort, and energy to understanding yourself and the world. You are having spiritual experiences at this time and gaining a greater awareness of what you need to do in order to grow. There is a greater chance that if you've been having any challenges recently, you've surmounted them and allowed them to be vehicles to lessons that are helping your spiritual connection. <laughs> If you feel that you've received messages from heaven or the universe recently, this card is confirmation that these have indeed been holy experiences, you know, and I just love it because it's kind of confirmation for me too, okay, because I've been going through like some very interesting things, you know, not like I w I've been going through anything, you know, that's so terrible or tearing me down, but I've been meeting some interesting characters, you know, and spirit was telling me, you know, um, that they're just trying to see where I am, you know, like that they're just throwing different energies in my face at this time to make sure that I have really healed, really learned the lessons that I have been through, you know, and really seeing how, not only how I absorb the lesson, but how am I reacting to this very same lesson again? Like, am I falling into the same behavioral patterns that I used to fall into when I ran into that energy or have I absolutely transcended that type of energy and just know better than to walk into those kinds of traps, you know? And so just be aware that spirit does, you know, play at your senses sometimes, but it's all in the name of you improving the great teacher that is within you, baby. Okay, you got this. <laughs> so with that, I'm done. Okay, I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. Okay, that you got something that you needed out of this. And I will see you later, my love. Bye.